What's up guys, welcome to the uh, third upload of Thimble Weed Park in a week. I'm addicted to this game, I'll admit. Hold up a second. Yeah, this game is pretty addicting. By the way, I thought so in Wednesday's, well actually, yeah, in Wednesday's video, um, I said how, um, Wednesday, I said, uh, I said, like, Thursday and, fr and Friday and Saturday, the video was meant to go up on a, uh, it was meant to go up Friday, but instead, it went up on a Wednesday, so, uh, yeah. We're at a clown now. Hey, take a shot at the target. Okay. I believe I got a bit. There we go. Now we go up here. I can't walk in through the main entrance like a tuna-headed pleb. I can't go on stage without my joke book. I might forget my best lines without it. Do you have your joke book? No, you don't. Oh, you forgot to pay the guy. Oh. Found food. We got prizes! Can't trust him. You got my money ransom, the asswipe clown? I have your money. A thousand bucks plus interest. Oh, so you decided to pay up. Yeah, well, not much choice. Now where's my joke book? Here, yeah, the jokes all suck. So how'd you get to be so famous with jokes like these? Yeah? What do you know about being funny? Uh, about as much as you do, which is nothing. Now wow. scram, clowny. You're scaring the customers. Step right this way. I can't walk in through the main entrance like a tuna headed pleb. I'm not here, man. Hello, faces. I'm Ransom the insult clown. I hope no one gets their feelings hurt easily, and if you do, it's your own fault for not being able to take a joke. I was amazed you weren't a bunch of fatzos. What with all this bottomless foie gras and champagne you have at the parties here. Then I ate at your diner. Their food is a better purgative than Ipecac. You guys love that pillow factory. It's the lamest claim to fame a town has ever had. Paris is the Eiffel Tower. New York has the Statue of Liberty. And Thimbleweed Park has a Pillow Factory! You better hope to God that feather pillows never go out of style. Hey you, lady with a huge nose. I say lady, but your beak suggests you're a toucan. You shouldn't have bought tickets for the show tonight, toots. You should be saving your money for a rhinoplasty. Hey you, dude with the stupid mustache. You think you look like Magnum P.I.? A 70s porn star called. He wants his mustache back. <laughs> hey you, kid with a crappy wheelchair. Were you in a past life or something? Seriously, kid, you're in a wheelchair, and you got a face that looks like that? God's definitely punishing you for something. Hey you, ugly old lady with the hairy mole. Or is it your parasitic twin? Whatever it is, I hope you bought a separate ticket. Cause if it's big enough to ride the roller coaster by itself, it's not freeloading in my audience. You will be forever sorry for what you've just said. I curse you to never be able to remove your makeup and to roam these circus grounds until the end of time. He went on for another two hours, insulting everyone he could. Some people laughed because they thought it was funny. But most laughed because they were uncomfortable. And laughing is the best way to hide from the embarrassment of others. But after the show, in his dressing room, there wasn't going to be any laughter. Ha! I killed tonight! One of my best shows ever! 
I hope that ugly old lady with a curse breaks a hip on the way home. Now to get this makeup off, hop on my private jet and go see my mistress Cindy in Aspen. Yeah. What the? F this f makeup isn't coming off. Yeah, old lady. You up the? You come on. As much as he tried, his makeup wouldn't come off. That old lady wasn't just any old lady. She was Madame Morena, mistress of the dark arts. When she curses you, it's not an empty threat. Something Ransom was just now finding out. This makeup of that old my lady. Ransom, I've got some bad news. What do you want, you bald, greedy little? Can't you see I'm having a problem? Grab a tissue and some rubbing alcohol and help me, you. Your private jet crashed while trying to land. Your wife found out about your mistress and she's taking everything you own except the house in Aspen. There was a fire in Aspen and your house burned to the ground. The toy and doll licensing deal is dead and they're suing you for breach. And one more thing. I quit. What? And go beep yourself. Huh. And that's why Ransom the Clown is such a creep. And you should go arrest him for murder. That's an interesting story. We'll go check up on him. Where did we go wrong, Dave? I don't know. <laughs> but if we can pull this off, I think we'll be fine again. I love you, Dave. I just want things to go back to how they were. Me too, Love Muffin. Snuggle cakes. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. No time to talk. We have to fix this slight leak. Can I do anything to help? Well, the Hydratron's tube is obviously burned out. We could use a new one. A WC-67? Yeah, we're out of that size. Must have been the signals. Yes, the signals. Okay. The doors are locked and nobody's inside. The doors are locked and nobody's inside. That looks like Reyes's notebook. I hope he went back to the home office. Pretty disgusting. I'm not opening up that disgusting trash can. That looks like Reyes's notebook. I hope he went back to the home office. It's locked. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm afraid I don't have any spare change, miss. I'm a federal agent. Show some respect, or I'll have you booked for solicitation. <laughs> Sweetie, I'm not a hooker. I'm Lenore Edmund Mulch, 
of the famed Pillowtronics Edmund family, and I'm waiting for my husband and son to arrive on the bus. So I suggest you treat me with a little more respect. Do you know anything about the body by the river? Oh, sweetie. Yes, yes, yes. So glad someone is finally getting rid of it. But one does hear things, and I do have an inkling of who might be connected to this nasty business. Tell me who you think is connected to the body. Well, I hate to cast aspersions, but I suppose it is for the good of the town. Tell me what you know. I've been quite Actually... No, I can't do this. The Edmund reputation is at stake. Spill the beans, trust fund Barbie. Fine, it was my sister Dolores. She abandoned our family and the business to become a... Flooring inspector. No, 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 no. It was far worse. She became... A video game developer. It all started a few years back. She only wanted one thing, to be a game designer for that awful game company, Mucus Phlegm. Uncle Chuck wanted something else for her, but no. She was too selfish, only wanted to make stupid adventure games. I've got to get out of this town. Uncle Chuck wants me to program his factory computers, but I just want to design games. I wish I could get a job at a company like Mucus Phlegm Games. Now the only thing I have to look forward to is my favorite computer magazine. In fact, I should check the mailbox and see if it's arrived yet. If it weren't for my month... Hi there, George. I was just about to check the mail. Great timing! You still around, Dolores? Thought you'd have left this podunk of a town by now. Yes, hopefully soon. I'm looking for a job at a game company in the big city. That's not gonna make your Uncle Chuck happy. He'll just have to deal with it. What brings you all the way out here? I have your special magazine here. Oh, I've been waiting for that. Thank you. Sure, it's what we dedicated government employees do. Walk all the way out into the country to deliver a magazine. It's Bite Me World, the best computer magazine ever. Wow! An ad for a job at Mucus Phlegm Games, my you favorite game company. Me. I hear they make movies, too. This could be a dream come true! I'm going- Hi, Doug. What are you digging? All right, Dolores. I'm just digging stuff in the front green. Mostly okay. holes. But then I'm putting them again all the entirety. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores! Digging? Digging. What the hell just happened? Franklin, you idiot! I'm just trying to, you know, help. Is that yelling? Oh, gag me. I hope my dad and Uncle Chuck aren't fighting again. And since most of the machinery at the pillow factory is lying fallow, I've come up with this, you know, great plan to repurpose them. We can use them to make, you know, plush toys. Franklin, you idiot! The company is Pillowtronics, not stupid plush toytronics. We make pillows! What do you think that would do to our credibility, our reputation? 
Okay, Chuck, you're right, but um, I was up all night working on the business plan. Maybe uh, you could just, you know, look at it? No, no, no! It's a pillow factory! Are you two fighting again? I'm getting so sick of this. You're brothers. Take a chill pill. You started the pillow factory together. Won't you ever stop fighting about it? Nothing you need to worry about, Dolores. Uh, right, Franklin, old brother? Ah, yes. You know, your uncle and I were just, uh, you know, talking business. I have some work to do. Dolores, can you get my 0.8mm point-tip soldering iron? You know, Uncle Chuck, you should use a 2mm flat tip, and you never heat your solder hot enough. <laughs> That's my favorite niece. I can't wait for you to take over the pillow factory. I know you'll keep the Edmund pillow dream alive. Open door. Open door. Open door. Open down the door. Go get the person at the door. Why is this so big? Hi again, George. It's not like a government employee to make a mistake, but I forgot to deliver this important letter for your Uncle Chuck. He's busy in his workshop and can't be disturbed. I'll take it for him. Okay, Dolores. Here it is. And remember, it's illegal to open someone else's mail. Punishable by a $50,000 fine and or five years in jail. Thanks, George. That's good to know. Okay, back to my vitally important government job. Now, I just like entering through all the other stores. Open the door. Open the door. Crash and burn. I got you there. Open the door. Open the door. Uncle Chuck, I have something for you. What is it, Dolores? A letter George the Postman just delivered. Oh, I've been expecting this. I'll deal with it later. Hold it. Feeling my way along. Just have to keep going. What the hell? Let me go around here. What's up with your journal? Um, mail. Dialing. Escape from the family. Wait, what's your turn? Get a job at. Okay. Use your computer. Wow! An ad for a job at Mucus Flem Games, my favorite game company. This could be a dream come true. Walk to your computer. Use your computer. I'm dialing the Mucus Flem modem number. It's connecting. Mm. I can't believe my computer is connected to Mucus Flem. Welcome to the new online Mucus Phlegm job application program. Just fill out your personal information and answer a few simple Mucus programming questions. Then print out the application and send it to Mucus Phlegm. We'll get back to you in exactly five days. What is your name? Thank you. What is your address? Noted. Next, what's your programming language of choice? 
the language you are most proficient in. Interesting choice. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. Okay, first question. This is an easy one. Next question, also an easy one. Reference counted. Hmm, a little harder. Ah, debugging is on a second monitor. Last question. Ouch, this is going to take some thinking. Got it, exclusive ore. Thank you for taking the mucus phlegm programming test. Congratulations, you passed the mucus phlegm programming test. Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. Hmm, I printed my... Hmm, I printed my job application, but the page is blank. Maybe the printer is out of ink. Chuck is such a bully. Uncle Chuck never should have talked to you like that. He's right. My idea was worthless. I'm worthless. Dad, I don't like to see you like this. I liked your idea for the pillow factory. Chuck thought it was a bad idea. He's right. He's never even read it. You need more confidence and stop letting Uncle Chuck push you around. Thanks, Dolores. You're a great daughter. But Chuck knows what is best for the factory. Bye, Dad. I love you. Goodbye, Dolores. Yeah, goodbye, friend. Chuck is such a bully. There's a, there's a sign there. Better read it first. It says, out of order. Hmm, I printed my job application, but the page is blank. Maybe the printer is out of ink. Diggin'? Hello, my favorite niece. Uncle Chuck, do you have any new printer ribbons? You know I don't buy new ribbons, I just re-ink them myself. Printer ink is a scam. I didn't get rich by wasting money. Of course. Thanks, Uncle Chuck. Wait, what? And I need computer. That doesn't seem to work. Talk to Uncle Chuck. Hello, my favorite niece. You should be nicer to my father. He just wants to help. Franklin is well-meaning, I will give you that. But he just doesn't have the same passion and vision for pillows that you and I have. Hmm. 
I just wanted to say how much I love you, Uncle Chuck. I love you too, Dolores. I can't wait for you to take over the Pillow Factory and restore the family heritage. Look, Uncle Chuck. Dolores, you know how busy I am right now. Maybe your father would be interested. This is depressing. I better hold on to this. No. Nothing. Okay, guys, we're probably gonna end the video. Uh, we did pretty good up to now, but uh, very long for this. I'll see you guys.